Carolyn Glenda, he was a man of few words as he came out of federal court here and not happy to see us. In fact, he took off running just to get away. How do you respond to the bribery charges? I have no comment. Did you take money from Rizzo? I have no comment. That's what I said. Do you have anything to say to the residents of Chesterfield Township? No comment today. Chesterfield Township Supervisor Michael Lovelock shows us no love as he rushes out of federal court. Down the street and around the block, he runs to a waiting car. Earlier, he was granted $10,000 unsecured bond after being arrested by the FBI and charged with bribery. According to a criminal complaint just unsealed today, he demanded money using code language through text saying, quote, I hope for lots of carrots, maybe 60 bundles. Just kidding. Rabbits hungry. After numerous wiretaps, it's alleged he took at least $30,000 from garbage hauler Rizzo Environmental Services. Pam, how are you? Supervisor Lovelock, and it's so nice to meet you. All the while, Lovelock has maintained the image of an upstanding local leader, as he told us back in 2015. Anything that you can do for a resident to help them for their cause, I have no problem doing it. Lovelock allegedly used vulgar talk complaining about bribes that were too small for helping Rizzo get payment quickly for unpaid bills by placing them on the township's tax roll. It all ties back to a public corruption probe which surfaced roughly six weeks ago. We first reported the FBI taking a close look at numerous public officials for allegedly taking bribes from Rizzo and at least one other company. Recently, federal prosecutors also charged Clinton Township trustee Dean Reynolds for alleged bribes, along with Macomb Township trustee Clifford Friedis, a former Rizzo employee. Both allegedly took thousands of dollars in exchange for helping Rizzo get contracts. No one from Rizzo has been charged. They've said they are cooperating with the FBI. Meantime, their president and CEO stepping down, and the company has since been sold and renamed GFL. Now, coming up at 6, we'll tell you what's next for Lovelock and how his community is reacting. Live downtown, Simon Shea 7 Action News.